Someone's in the kitchen with Leslie. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Leslie. Making vegan eggnog. <laughs> How do you like that song? Thank you, Splat. You're a very good singer. <laughs> goofball. Hashtag goofball. <laughs> it's Splat. You know what that means? If it's Splat, it must be in the kitchen again. Again. We are in the kitchen again. How do you like that? Sorry, Splat. I just totally whacked him against the counter. Whack. Whack a Splat. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? We are making vegan eggnog. So you really can't call it eggnog at that point, right? You have to call it veganog. Okay, it is your goal in this scope to come up. Hey Liam, it's good to see you. It is your goal in this scope to come up with a name for this eggnog. I know, don't whack splat. Whack him. <laughs> whack a splat. The on eggnog. Veg nog. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Lexi. Um, yeah, so it is your responsibility. Egg not. Oh, that's funny. I love that. That's hilarious. Way to go, Marcy. Marcy, you win everything. I'm not giving anything away, but Marcy always wins everything. Have you guys noticed that? You're very smart, that Marcy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I know, right? Everybody, like, everybody block Marcy. No, I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. That's a joke. I know she does, right? She wins all kinds of stuff. It's awesome, though, because she gets it, and then she goes on a scope and opens it, and it's hilarious, and I love it. So let me introduce myself. This is Splat. Anytime you ever see Splat come up in my screen um, at the beginning of my scopes, you know that I'm cooking in the kitchen. He is my mascot for Hey Leslie's in the Kitchen. When I'm not doing that, if you don't see Splat, then typically I'm in my office or I'm sitting at my table or, <laughs> or something like that. There is no Mason today. I mean, really, there is no Mason today. Um, I'm sitting at my table or whatever and we're talking. Um, I'm dialing in trying to show you guys some health tips. So um, so there you go. So let me introduce myself. My name is Leslie. I have a website, go to kitchens.com, G O the number two kitchens.com. If you have not been there, what are you waiting for? What are you doing? Go over. Not right now. Wait till this is over. Then go over. Um, and go check it out. You can become a VIP. It's absolutely, thank you so much for putting that in, Karen. Is absolutely free and you get a free ebook when you sign up to become a VIP and you get a private Facebook page just just for the go-to kitchens VIPs where we share recipes and we share uh, funny stories and you guys share photos with me and I tell you what's coming up and it's completely free it's all free there's nothing for sale at go-to kitchens I'm not trying to sell you a thing the only thing I want you to buy is I want you to buy into your own health so I'm gonna ask you guys just one time right down here in the corner there's a little white ball headed guy if you will just touch him and share out with all of your fun I know love free right <laughs> do I get a splat no you do not get a splat have to go buy your own splat unless you win one but Marcy you'll have like a whole family of them very soon so you guys go you guys go out and share it to your followers thank you so much for doing that thank you thank you thank you thank you I know touch the bald man it's happening all the time around here what kind of scope is this anyway uh, <laughs> oh it is always Marcy you guys dig my t-shirt Merry Christmas do you see Merry Christmas I know so funny it's the only this is the only Christmas shirt I own and it's a mockery and it's the only Christmas shirt that I own there you go you can see it now Merry Christmas so I thought I'd wear it for you guys today there you go <laughs> well that's very true Liam because you didn't pay anything so you're gonna get what you paid for no you're gonna get more than you paid for no uh, whatever anyway uh, no ugly sweater nope don't own one do not even own Christmas pajamas I know it's nuts. I love Christmas. Christmas is one of my favorite times of the year, but I do not celebrate it in clothing. <laughs> All right. So we have a room full. Blah, blah, we have a room full. So let's, um, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's cute. I love that. Um, we have a room full. So let's get started and make some vegan eggnog. This is so, so easy. Splat says it's easy. It's easy, easy, easy. We are going to use a blender for it. I have my lovely ninja, my ninja blender. Ta-da! Anybody come up with a good name for the veganog? <laughs> ninja sisters, that's right, ninja sisters. Hashtag ninja sisters. <laughs> yes, it is. It's totally vegan. It's a totally vegan recipe for eggnog. No eggs included. 
no eggs. There's no eggs anywhere on my counter. Here, I'll show you. I'll prove it. There are no eggs anywhere on my counter, which is a good time to point my camera anyway. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use some water. We are going to use a little bit of coconut milk, not a whole lot. We're going to use some vanilla extract. I have cinnamon here. I have nutmeg here. I have in this bowl right here, this looks really gross right now, but it's not. I have been soaking dates. Ooh, and I just poured out all the date juice on my floor. That's lovely. Um, don't step in the date juice. <laughs> So I have been soaking dates overnight so that they are nice and mush. See how mushy they are? I want them to be mushy. If you don't, unless you're using a super high power blender, you might get chunks in your eggnog and you probably don't want chunks in your eggnog. So I've been doing that. The other ingredient, that's one cup by the way, with one cup of water soaking in them. I've also been soaking pecans. We'll just turn this a little bit. Pecans, pecans, not, yeah, right, gross. Ugh. <laughs> that would be so nasty, big old chunk of something. Um, I've been soaking pecans as well so that they would get nice and soft. Anytime you do this to um, to nuts or to fruits or anything like that that are dried, um, you're basically just kind of rehydrating them. Um, you're rehydrating them and making them where they will where they will be where they will liquefy much easier in your blender. So, so this is how easy this is. <laughs> Chunks. <laughs> I don't, I just even, I even hate the word chunks. It's just such a nasty word. You never had eggnog before? I have to tell you, Liam, I am not a huge fan. <laughs> I am not a huge fan of conventional eggnog, but I dig this eggnog. It is really good. Even if you're not an eggnog drinker, I think that you're going to find this recipe to be kind of yummy. Yummy. And if you, by the way, if you wanted to, um, if you want it to be warm when you do it, you could heat your coconut milk and you could heat your water and that would actually make it. Not very good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> pecans, 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 pecans. Um, okay. Yes, you can add alcohol if you want to, but you guys know that I very rarely drink, so there'll be no al alcohol, and I don't even have any alcohol in the house, actually, so there'll be no alcohol in this recipe. All right. So this is vegan, non-alcoholic, but yes, you can. Pecans, pecans, pecans. I say it pecans, but... You know, sometimes I hear pecans, so. Oh, thank you so much for saying so. All right, so we're just going to put all of our ingredients right down into our blender. So actually, we're not. We're going to hold off on the coconut milk because I want to make sure I have the right consistency. So there is a, a teaspoon of freshly ground cinnamon. Mm, I'm so sorry you guys can't smell this. Freshly ground cinnamon is heaven. It is heaven. If you don't grind your own cinnamon, please, for a recipe like this, you don't have to do it like if you're need a lot of cinnamon, but for a recipe that only calls for a teaspoon of cinnamon, grind your own. You're going to be so happy. <sighs> happy. You're going to be so happy. You're going to love me. You're going to say, Leslie is a rock star because she said to grind my cinnamon. <laughs> I used a microplane to grind mine. You can do it in a coffee grinder. Uh, you could do it multiple ways. You could use all kinds of grinders to do it. So what'd you miss? What'd you miss? <laughs> I know, me too. Right now in my office, I have a diffuser that has essential oils in it, and I'm diffusing cinnamon, clove, and orange. It's ridiculous. It's so good. Yes, but I think that I think that you will like this, so try it. So we're going to put our cinnamon down in there. Then we have a teaspoon of nutmeg. Same thing, same thing if you're not grinding your own nutmeg. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that beautiful? I love nutmeg. It's such a beautiful little thing. Yes, so if you're not grinding your own nutmeg, grind your own nutmeg. If you don't like nutmeg, you can, allevi you can alleviate it, you can eliminate it. So I missed a ton of stuff. A diffuser, yes, a diffuser. All right, so a teaspoon, a teaspoon. Get down in there, don't be difficult. A teaspoon of nutmeg, a teaspoon of cinnamon. You could also use ground cinnamon that's already ground and ground nutmeg if that's what you have, that's fine. And then I'm gonna just do a dash. I know, right, because those blades are really sharp. I know, don't be stupid, don't do what I just did. Uh, <laughs> you can buy nutmeg anywhere, Sherry. You can get it at the grocery store. I know they're so sharp. Those blades are so stinking sharp. You're right. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> so, but, uh, but you can get nutmeg just about anywhere and use it, uh, with just a microplane like this. It's totally fine. So I know I understand. Ooh, microplane in the sink. I'm just going to do a dash of cardamom, just a couple of shakes. What was that? Like five? Five little shakes in there. Cardamom is, uh, we have learned, is a seed. 
<laughs> just nog. That's right. Oh, I like that too. I love that. I love that. Just nog. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> I know. I love my microplane too. It's one of my favorite things. This is cardamom. Um, it has a gingery, cinnamony, nutmeggy taste, <laughs> and I really like it. But you don't need a lot of it. You don't need a lot of it because it is. It will our. It will overpower something very, very, very quickly. Really, nutmegs. They're going to be in the spice section. They come in a whole seed, just like there. Except there's another half to it. It looks like that. Um, and you can just grind away at it. Yep. Nutmeg is easy to find. Just look in your um, look in your spice sections. Yeah, of your grocery stores, Whole Foods for sure. Yeah. Okay. So now we are going to use splat, and we're going to put in the dates with the water. I am not going to drain these. So these are in a cup of water, and I'm not going to drain them. Let's just be crystal clear about that. If you have a high powered blender, you probably don't need to soak them. But I don't know. I would still soak them. That's just me. I would still soak them. <laughs> Then we are going to put the pecans in there with the with the uh, water as well. What what what? So what what's in water, dates, uh, all the spices, cinnamon, cardamom, and uh, nutmeg in there? Now the pecans with their water. Yep, everything gets down in there. Then we're going to do two teaspoons of vanilla. Of vanilla. Man, I would almost do want to do like four teaspoons, but I'm going to do two, just like it says. Although I've changed this recipe like four times since I started making it. I don't even know what the original recipe was, quite frankly. Mmm, yummy. That vanilla extract is so yummy. So now I'm going to give it a blend and see what the consistency is like. And then I'm going to start to pour my coconut milk in. So everything in except for the coconut milk, that's going to go in last. So loud. Ready? Everybody, if you have on headphones, either turn them down or take them out right now because it's going to be loud. It's loud. want it to get super thin. That's going to brighten it up just a little bit. Brownhouse are awesome, Janie. They're chocolate. <laughs> I know I'm lazy too, I understand. <laughs> you have chocolate hearts, Janie. That's awesome. I love chocolate hearts. <laughs> Egg flag. I know, right? I'm always happy when I get them. Just a little bit more. This is red brown, yeah. See how it got a lot lighter when I did that? Now, if you like your eggnog thick, you can add more nuts. <laughs> you can add more nuts, and you can add more dates if you wanted it thicker. <laughs> That's okay. So here's my cute little eggnog cup. Isn't it adorable? Do you love it? I love it. I just bought it and I love it. It's a cute eggnog cup. <laughs> I know. Okay, so that's probably as good as you're going to get in a Ninja. If you have a high-speed blender, that's... I'm still talking loud. If you have a high-speed blender! <laughs> but the blender's off. Dang. Um, it's like, okay, so in the movie the other <laughs> I bet you are. So in a movie the other night, 
the previews were on. <laughs> So this is, uh, let's be crystal clear here. If you don't want to be vegan, you don't have to be. That's absolutely fine. But there are people in the world that are vegan. So don't be mean. Um, and then second of all, <laughs> siding, oh my gosh. So, and second of all, I'm not vegan, actually. I'm not vegan. I eat meat. I eat 10% of my diet. 90% is plant-based. 10% is, uh, 10% is um, meat, dairy, and grains, I guess, would be the other 10%. So yes, so but it's okay. You don't have to get angry about people being vegan. So just putting it out there. <laughs> yes, I eat plant based. Yes. So um, okay, so there you go. So this is what it looks like in the blender. So we're going to put it right down into our little glass. It's nice and creamy. I can tell you that. It's beautiful. Look at that. Can you see that? Can you see that well? Let's move the camera over just a little bit underneath my shade here. See if you can see it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they did or not, but I don't like I don't like it when people are mean like that. So <laughs> yes. So there you go. I'm gonna take a drink. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Excuse me. I have to have another drink. Mmm. That is absolutely fabulous. I have to tell you, I think I would want it a little warm. I think last year when I made it, I actually served it warm, and I like it better like that. So now I'm going to take my microplane again. Made with collagen? Yeah, you could probably do that for sure. Like an eggnog, an eggnog smoothie. Ooh, better than nog. I like that too. <laughs> Oh, okay, good, good, good. I was like, man, don't be mean. I get it now. Sorry, sometimes that's hard to translate. I do apologize. I do greatly apologize. So, yes, got it. Sorry. Sometimes I get people on here and they're mean, and I'm like, don't be mean. I don't want you to be mean. So, yes. All right, so we're just going to grate a little bit of cinnamon right on there. I apologize for that. I really do. I jump to conclusions. See how I'm great? Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Now this is going to make it all pretty. How do you like that sound? <laughs> now then, that is a beautiful little glass, except for my dirty bowls. That is a beautiful glass of, of eggnog, not eggnog, eggnog free, egg free eggnog. No, free nog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a cup of dates. So the, here's the ingredients. It is a cup of dates soaked in one cup of water, a cup of pecans soaked in one cup of water, two cups of plain water. I used about probably about half a cup of coconut milk. You, it depends on the de just nog. Uh, yeah, that's it. I really do like that. Just nog. That's a great one. I'm using that one. If this is just nog. Um, I, um, I use cinnamon cardamom, just a little bit, cinnamon cardamom, uh, vanilla extract and, um, nutmeg. And that's all that's in here. It's a wonderment <laughs> and it's B E A beautiful. It's so pretty. I'm so, I just love it. Yeah. I would serve this gladly to anybody. You could serve it chilled too. If you like, uh, if you like eggnog chilled, I actually like mine warmed just a little bit. And I think I would like it better that way, but it's really good. At, just like it is. Mm. So there you go. I know <laughs> it's a vegan. <laughs> it is. It is. Marcy, you're going to love it. It has like the best, the best flavor. Um, I do not have a nutmeg grinder. I just use my microplane, which I have decided, by the way, that I need a new one because mine's getting really flat. All my little pieces, instead of sticking out the sides and sticking up like they're supposed to, they're getting really flat. But you guys, yes, I will post the recipe. You guys will, uh, <laughs> I mean, you know how much I use this microplane. I use it all the time. <laughs> awesome. Yes, it's really a cool recipe. So um, the dates and nuts soaked for, um, let's see, hold on. Let me think about that. They soaked for um, nine, ten, about four hours, four hours, but you could do them overnight. You could absolutely do them overnight, and that would be perfectly perfect to do them overnight. I only let these set for about four hours. I would have liked for my pecans to be a little bit softer than they were. My dates were plenty soft enough. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but my pecans could have been a little bit softer, and I would have been happy about it. So, uh, yes. Any stuff for pecans? I don't have any. 
I don't have any. If you want that nutty, rich, if you want that nutty, um, <laughs> right? I know. If you want that nutty, uh, rich flavor that you get from eggnog, uh, pecans are going to be your best for that. I, I suppose you could try it with almond, but then it's just going to taste like almond milk. So <laughs> I know, right? Ooh. Uh, yes. So anytime I, you know, I'm such a 12 year old. Anytime I talk about dates, I can't talk about them without snickering. It's like meatballs. I can't do that either. <laughs> it's so stupid. I'm just like a kid. It's like, you. yeah, so. Um, <laughs> yes, so there you go. I know, 12 years old. I, in fact, I. it's funny because everybody who is under the age of 21 to me is 12. So if you're under the age of 21, to me, you are just 12. That's like the whole, yes. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's very sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's probably why I get along with like most of the human race. <laughs> it's because I'm a 12 year old uh, at heart anyway. <laughs> okay, Marcy, come on. <laughs> so, so yes, so you saw how fast that was. This is going to serve about, um, in this little micro glass, it's going to serve about eight people in a regular glass. So regular being like, you know, I don't know, like this, like this, you're probably going to get four. If you're serving, if you like to serve it in little holiday, you know, mugs or whatever, or in a mason jar. Oh, Karen, Karen, look, look, it's Mason. <laughs> You can serve it in really cute little mason jars like this. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yes, it is. You have to have mason on here at some point. But you can serve it like this. So, so cute. Super cute. So, serve it chilled. Serve it warm. Serve it however you want. It's going to be perfectly fine. Serve it in a big pitcher. Let people, you know, pour out what they want. I, I would dare you. I would dare you to make this and not tell anybody that it's not actual eggnog. Um, and see the reaction. If you, especially if you add booze to your eggnog, they're not ever gonna know. <laughs> yes, or yeah, or this beautiful little cinnamon stick just stuck right down in there. So pretty, so Christmassy. Love, love, love it. Love, love, love it. Good ideas, everybody. So, there you go. <laughs> yeah. They were. They were all, yep, yeah, Mike. Oh, microplane. That's what you're calling them now. Mike, Splat, and Mason all made an appearance. Karen's happy. Um, she just calls them, instead of Mason jar, she calls them make, Mason. Yeah, and then Mike is is uh, microplane. And then, of course, Splat is Splat. So, <laughs> I know, holiday tricks. Whoops. What do you mean? Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not a big uh, fan either. So, yeah, don't get me going down that road. I will just tick a bunch of people off <laughs> with my alcohol talk. If you've never seen one of my alcohol rants, I don't even know what, um, <laughs> it's right, splat is splat. That's right, just plain old splat. Um, but I don't know what periscopes that they're on that you could watch on catch.me. Um, but every once in a while I will get on an alcohol trip and <laughs> not what you're thinking. I will get on a platform. I will get on a soapbox and start talking about it. And I have the, like these long rants about people and alcohol. So it's hilarious. Yeah. And daily use actually is my big rant. I don't care if people drink it. I just, it's the daily use that gets me. <laughs> I know, right? It's, well, it's, you know, occasionally it is absolutely fine. On occasion and moderation is absolutely fine. On a daily basis, your body is not built for it. <laughs> You've got all kinds of mess ups there, don't you? Your body's not built for it, so... Uh, yes, I will be scoping on my vacation. Um, I will be scoping from the road on Wednesday. I don't know what I'm talking about. Who knows? Christmas Eve, I will do a quick scope, probably just to come on and tell you guys Merry Christmas and that I love you and I can't wait to see you after the holidays. And then um, I will scope quickly on Christmas Day as well, very quickly, because it's all about family, not periscoping. Um, and, then, and then on Friday, uh, no, that is Friday, Christmas Eve. Wait, we're driving on the 23rd, the 24th is Christmas Eve, the 25th, so I'll scope both of those days. I don't know about what, who knows, they'll be very quick scopes. And then um, and then on Saturday, on Saturday this week, I'll actually be in the kitchen in Texas with my mom and dad. Look at this crazy hair. With, uh, with my mom and dad, it's not crazy enough, it won't, 
There we go. Uh, with my mom and dad, I will be in Texas in kitchen with them, and my dad and I are going to be making dinner together. So you guys, um, <laughs> no, I will just do it very quickly. So, um, but yeah, so we will be in the kitchen together, and you guys get to meet my dad. And uh, <laughs> okay, okay, I have lots of meetings, but okay. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely, you're going to get some today. You're going to get some po weirdly positivity things today. Absolutely, I have a good one for you today, in fact. So, hold on, my nose is, my nose is running. I had just been outside, and I came in, and when I came in from the cold, my nose runs. I'm sorry, I'm going to look the other way so you don't have to see it. Do you guys see my bubble light? Can you see it? I put out some Christmas stuff for you guys. So, there you go. <laughs> There's my one Christmas thing, and here's my other one right here. <laughs> It's the only Christmas. Hey, we have a Christmas tree, and that's it. Uh, <laughs> yes, and so thank you. I would love that. And so, yes, so that's what's going on this week. But so you have to, I know I have to blow my nose. I'm sorry. And then, um, <laughs> no, I just wiped it. I'm good. <laughs> so, and then on Saturday, you guys have to be there. Sunday, I'm not sure what's happening either. We will probably just play it by ear and do something fun. Then the following Monday, I'll be traveling again, and then I'll be back home, and then I'll be home until Periscope Summit. Periscope Summit! So excited about Periscope Summit! Uh, <laughs> yes, so that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Yeah, bye, have fun. I know what you gotta run and do. You gotta run and go to the beach. Dang. <laughs> Yeah, what's the, uh, when is that? Summit dates are the 14th to the 17th. Jan, bye, have fun. Don't get summer. Love you. Um, Periscope, I'm going to Texas for Christmas. Periscope Summit is in San Francisco. And it's the 14th through the 17th. And I will tell you that you should mark your calendar right now because the 14th of January is going to be an epic Periscope day. You should just put that in your cal calendar. Uh, January 14th, epic Periscope day. <laughs> because I am going to be... I know. I'm going to be in Dallas-Fort Worth. Yep. I'm Dallas-Fort Worth on uh, this weekend, uh, this coming week. Yes. I, it's going to be so much fun. And if you guys are going, um, will I be cooking at Periscope Summit? Probably not. Probably not. Um, I'm going to be scoping with Dr. Christine. I'm going to be scoping with probably a lot of your favorites. Uh, we'll be together. So, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I have to I have to stay home because there's a Periscope Summit. So yeah, my boss didn't care that I was going. So <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, any cooking? I already did it. I just made I just made vegan eggnog. You missed it? Did you miss it? Mm -mm. Karen, you were here, right? You were totally here. Yeah. The not nog. <laughs> That's right. I gotta remember the names. I'm gonna have to go back and just nog. Thank you. I'm gonna have. I gotta write it down right now because if not, I'm gonna forget it, and then I'm gonna be like, I have to watch the whole Periscope scope just to. That's my favorite one. I have to watch the whole Periscope just to get the name again. <laughs> oh dang. Okay. No, I'm not. Uh, you're vegan. Awesome. Yeah, I just made vegan eggnog. You have to watch the replay. Uh. <laughs> Oh no, that stinks. Did you see Mason? Yeah, you saw Mason. Just Nog. That's right. I just wrote it down because I am totally going to forget it. <laughs> All right. So if you were watching this uh, for vegan eggnog, that part is, what's the sticky note? It says hashtag love to cook. It is my hashtag. <laughs> I know, right? I wish I could send it there. Um, it is my hashtag. Yep. So hashtag love to cook is my hashtag and it's just on that sticky note sitting right there and I love it when you guys ask I leave it there because every once in a while somebody asks somebody asked the other day were you guys on the periscope on Saturday when somebody asked me if my eyes were real what is that yeah my eyes are real it was so weird anyway okay <laughs> it was really funny uh, <laughs> I know. It's like, yes <laughs> <laughs> nope, not real. They're fake. I think they meant, because I was sitting in the sunlight. Thank you. I was sitting in the sunlight, and they were super green in the sun. They they get, like, really, really green. And I think they meant, <laughs> no, he's quiet today. I don't know where he's at, even. Um, I think they meant, is the color real? Yeah, they were super green that day. So, it's uh, actually, when I'm in a, a superiorly wonderful mood, my eyes are really, really green. It's, uh, I have, like, mood eyes. So, <laughs> they change colors. <laughs> Uh, I know, it's so funny. 
I have a story about playing blind. I'm not going to tell you that story, but I do have one. Maybe when I get to know you better, I'll tell you. Because <laughs> that's what you said to us. When I get to know you better, I'll tell you my story. <laughs> so, sorry, Janie. I just totally picking on you. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell the story. Okay, so my cousin and I, my dear cousin, who I will see this weekend that I adore, she and I are the same age, and we used to, I didn't have any brothers and sisters, so she was like my sister. And we hung out all the time as kids. We were together all the time. I spent the night at her house. She spent the night at my house. Um, actually, it was typically at her house because she always had a pool. And I always, you know, we loved the pool. We were like water babies in the sun, in the, in the pool all summer long. And um, behind her house, she lived in Wedgwood, which is a, a suburb of Fort Worth, Texas. She lived in Wedgwood. And behind her house, we could go through a wooden fence that was just a hole big enough for us to like skinny through. And behind there, there was a little uh, five and dime store called Mott's. I don't know if you are familiar. Um, <laughs> water babies. Yeah, we were water babies. Um, but um, yeah, I've, I've been a fish my entire life. I love to swim. I love the water. I, I adore the water. So uh, <laughs> I just, oh my gosh, you have to watch the replay. I just finished it. Now I'm telling a stupid story. Um, so sorry. Um, so anyway, and so we used to, we used to, we would instinct through the, I know, damn, I can tell you really quick. It's a cup of pecans, a cup of dates, both soaked in a cup of water each. Then it is two cups of water. It is a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of, uh, nutmeg, a little dash of cardamom, and, uh, probably about half a cup of coconut milk, um, and just blend it all together. I know, right? Absolutely. I wish I could. I'd be rich. Uh, <laughs> yes, and in a blender right there. So <laughs> I know it just didn't take very long, did it? So anyway, so uh, <laughs> how much vanilla? Uh, two, two teaspoons of vanilla. Sorry, I missed that one. Two teaspoons of, thank you, Chesty. Two teaspoons of vanilla. So um, anyway, so we used to go through the fence and it was the, the, the shopping center was literally right behind their house and it, it was the 70s and so it was safe. And so we would go through there and we used to, we used to pretend all kinds of things. Um, we used to take paper clips and put them on our teeth and pretend like we had braces. Who wants braces? I crazy kids is what we were. And then we would pretend like she had one of those, remember those dog leashes that were really stiff and it looked like a dog harness, but there was no dog in it. It was like an invisible dog. I know. Did you want braces too? Oh my God. I used aluminum foil. I know. Weird. It is weird. But there was like this invisible dog Do you get, and they sold them like at theme parks and stuff. And it was like this hard leash and it looked like you were walking a dog, but there was no dog on it. And glasses. Yes, absolutely. Marcy, you still want glasses. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, I wanted anything that was going to make me different. So, yeah, do you remember? Okay, so we had one of those. So we'd go over there and we pretend like we had that dog. I know, weird, weird water babies. That's right. So, so we would do that. And um, one day we got the we got the bright idea that would be great. Now, these people saw us like every day in the summer, like every day in the summer. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's so funny. I, we would pet the dog. We'd act like we were petting the dog. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. And so, and they, everybody just laughed. So people saw us like every day. So one day we got the bright idea. It would be awesome to pretend like one of us was blind. And so, which is horrible because, oh my gosh, I just, it, it breaks my heart now when I think about it. Um, it's probably just not socially correct at all to do this, but we did. We were just kids. We were just like seven and eight years old, honestly. And she's just a, just like that much older than me, but we're like the same age really. I know, right? We used to pretend like we have a broken arm. I mean, honestly, seriously, it's crazy. So, but, and so we would lead each other around. So one day she would be like, I want to be blind today. Okay. So I'd lead her around the store and I'd make her feel for stuff. I'm like, feel that. Can you feel that? And then the next day I was like, I want to be blind. And so we would, we would just trade back and forth and the people saw us every single day it's hilarious we still get teased about it my aunt and my mom and dad i don't know if dad's still here but my aunt and my mom and dad and uncle um i know right <laughs> used to they still make fun of us they still make fun of us in fact we are playing a we always do a game uh, excuse me <laughs> gotta sneeze now but we always do a Christmas gift exchange, like a white elephant kind of exchange. I know it is totally ridiculous. And so 
Um, so this year I, I made up the game and we're doing this thing and this is a long story. I'm just going to get over it right now, but it's a game where you read off sentences. And if you, if the sentence applies to you, then you have to switch gifts with somebody in the circle. And so, so one of the things that one of the sentences I have in there is if you ever pretended like you were blind. <laughs> so I hope that one gets drawn before we end the game. So, cause I have like 60 of them and there's only like 30 of us. So it is, it was, yeah, we, it was totally innocent. We certainly weren't out to offend anyone or anything like that. And it was just so crazy though. I mean, I, as an adult, I'm like, dear Lord, all those days that I pretended like I was blind, I do not want to be blind. <laughs> so, so funny. Anyway, I know it's so funny, funny, crazy, crazy kid stuff. Um, yes. And that's not the end of the things we did. We did all kinds of nutty, crazy funny stuff. We had so much fun. She and I, we had so, so much fun. And now she is, uh, she's been married a really long time. Uh, she married her high school sweetheart. She has two beautiful children that are both, uh, well, one's an adult and is married herself. And she has a grandbaby, a brand new grandbaby. His name is Colton and I haven't got to see him yet. And I'm so excited to see that baby. So, um, so yes, so I get to see him this weekend. Super, super excited about it pleased as punch how our lives have turned out. So, uh, even though we were crazy kids, <laughs> right. And I bet the store's not even there anymore. I don't even think there are any matzahs anymore in Texas. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. They'd be like, Oh my God, there's those girls again. <laughs> now, now we would get, we would get in trouble cause we're adults and we know better. <laughs> And I don't even know, I, you've never heard of that story. Yeah, it's, uh, it, I think it's, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know where else it would be. So I know, right? <laughs> so funny. All right. So that's my story. So, uh, on that note, I just want to share with you guys an inspirational moment. So <laughs> so, so I want to just share an inspirational moment. <laughs> An inspirational moment with you guys uh, this morning, and that is this. Uh, in my, if you if you follow me personally on Facebook, and you're welcome to follow me. I don't accept a lot of friend requests, but I do. I do. I mean, I do have a button that allows you to follow me. That sounds so tacky. It allows you to follow me, but I just I'm I'm too busy to go through the friend requests and see what's genuine and what's not. That's the only reason I don't do it. So um, yeah, inspirational moment. So, but you can follow me, Leslie Nance, on Facebook every almost every day. Not every single day. I I have to be truly inspired. Um, but every single. I, almost every single day I do a hashtag always light never darkness post and it's just my inspirational thoughts for the day and it is typically I'm talking to myself it's when I type it out it is actually coming back to me it's it's me making an affirmation out to you guys and so today's was that you are magical that you know a magic trick I don't even know if you know that you know a magic trick but it is so easy this is the most simple magic trick on the planet and that is this that is to raise each corner of your mouth simultaneously like this. See that? Do you see how I did that? It's magic. <laughs> it is, it is magic. All right. So watch magic. And you know what that does when you do it with a little sparkle in your eye and you look at a stranger and you do that, you have turned, you have turned darkness into light. So just keeping that in mind, just showing you that for the day, when you do that, when you look at somebody that you don't even know, you don't even know their name, you don't know what's going on in their day, you don't know nothing, and you look them right in the eyes, and you do this, and give them a little sparkle in your eye, and just literally make eye contact with them, you could have changed their whole course of the day. So just keeping that in mind, this is a stressful time of year. There are a lot of people it might be all they need. That's absolutely right. There is, uh, it is a simple, easy, free way to pay it forward. There is a lot of stress. There are a lot of people on Periscope right now talking about stress and the stress of the holidays and the stress of the holidays and the stress of the holidays. It's just one right after another after another. I see them all the time. So obviously, we're all dealing with some stress. This is why I don't have a lot of Christmas decorations. <laughs> because I don't have time and it would stress me out trying to put them all out and then put them all in. Now, for those of you that have Christmas decorations, I love you. I love coming to your house when you have them. And thank you. When I come to your house, thank you for having them up. They make me so happy, but I just don't have time to do it myself. And I haven't for years. I haven't for years. So 
Um, but I love, I love, love Christmas. I love this time of year, but I choose things that, and I choose paths where I choose not to stress myself out. So yeah, I, we just do a tree too. Um, well, and a couple of uh, like little silly things that I can put away fast. Um, but, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I think it's a wonderful thing. If you decorate your house, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ah, well, you know what? It's okay. You still affected her, Janie. Yeah, you still affected her. She still, she still absolutely needed that smile. She needed it more than anybody else. So, <laughs> all right, to put all my Christmas decorations out. Hmm, I have boxes of them. <laughs> yeah, just keep smiling. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, so, yes, and, uh, you know, it's really important not to get bitter about people like that. They get this impression that you're, you know, I mean, that it's, you know, whatever. It's they've just had a bad day. You don't even know what's going on with them. So, and she needed it more than anybody else in that store. So, uh, <laughs> So, um, so yes, so yes, so maybe you're the only smile that somebody sees today, and I think it's just a great way to live every day, but choosing tasks at Christmas, this is a little late for this conversation, but choosing tasks at Christmas that don't stress you out. I do not buy a ton of presents for people. I buy a few thoughtful gifts for people that I love and know, but there's not like a big bandwagon of gifts waiting to go to Texas. There's a few gifts for my mom, a few gifts for my dad, and uh, a few gifts for my Nana and some friends. And that's it in our white elephant gifts for the exchange that we do. But that's it. I send out, I mail out like five packages to different people around the, around the, uh, around the country, around the country. But I just don't, I just don't stress it out. So, oh, was it good? Oh, that's what we're having. Oh, so that's what my dad is saying the menu is uh, for Saturday right there. Yes, this year, um, to prevent myself from stressing out, I actually did not get around to sending Christmas cards. Now, my brother-in-law, I don't think, is on here anymore, but I'm the Christmas card queen. I send out Christmas cards. Typically, the first Christmas card you get in the mail is, uh, is from me. <laughs> and I just, and it, it didn't happen this year. It's just, it just did not happen. Did it stress me out? No. Did I judge my situation? No, I didn't judge my situation at all. It's just what happened. Next year, I'll send out Christmas cards. Uh, but this year, I just didn't get around to it. So, you know, everybody's gotten a Christmas card for me since I was 20. One year is going to be fine. So I just, I just refuse to, I refuse to stress out about stuff like that. It's just an impossibility for me to get all worked up over a season that is supposed to be filled with love and joy and family and happiness so yeah they, they do no it's true it's absolutely true uh, <laughs> yes I did start young I was I've been a Christmas card fanatic so um, yes I love Christmas cards right yeah or a text or whatever yeah you never get there yeah no I know a lot of people do it's you know I mean I've I have uh, there have been other years that I missed Christmas cards um, <laughs> but it's you know it is what it is and it's fine and some years my Christmas cards are so thoughtful and I actually sit down and write hand notes to an entire list of everybody and hand write out when I have time a letter to every single person on my list and sometimes I get to that and sometimes I don't so yes uh, <laughs> dairy we need this what are we talking about yeah, I know. See, and it's just, and it's just okay. It's just okay. And, and it don't judge yourself over things like that. Just roll with it. It's just what happened this year. It's not a big deal. You know, there are bigger crises that could be happening than not sending Christmas cards. So just roll with it. Let it be what it is. Don't judge yourself. If something goes wrong at your Christmas dinner, don't freak out. It's funny. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, not typing it again, right? I know I miss it sometimes and it's like, uh, can you type that again? And it's like this long. I'm like, sorry, sorry. Um, but yes, hi, Clarissa, by the way. And so, um, so yeah, so it's just not, it's just not a big deal. If things don't, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, thanks, Maura. It's good to see you. I've enjoyed your scopes this weekend. I enjoy seeing your beautiful face. And I loved the ostrich eggs. Oh my God. Bye, Karen. Love you. Um, the ostrich eggs were amazing, Maura. I just loved, loved, loved seeing them. Yeah, good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I mean, literally, don't let them bite. <laughs> Did you guys see the the pug beds? No, the bed the bed pugs the on Facebook, the bed pugs. It's all the pugs on the bed instead of bed bugs. It's, anyway, pug beds. It was funny. 
<laughs> Ostriches don't lay eggs. We'll tell more about that because they do. But <laughs> you made your own. You just made your own version of what? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. So there we go. Oh, doing good today. We have plenty of time to hang out. What do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> I'm just kidding, really. <laughs> Bye. It's good to see you, Marcy. Thanks for being here. They are huge eggs, and they're so beautiful. I wanted the emu egg so bad. You just made it? Really? You just, like, whipped it out just like that? Really? You didn't soak the nuts, I'm guessing, because we haven't been on here that long, have we? <laughs> Is it good? Is it good? Did you make your own version? I bet that's what you mean. Ah, they may. <laughs> Vegans rule. Uh, they may actually eat their own eggs, but I think that there's a way to get them before they eat them and don't eat you. We, oh my gosh, I've had an ostrich encounter before. We were at a farm and, um, <laughs> and I absolutely, like there's this giant ostrich and I just was in love with him because he had these big eyelashes and it was like, come pet me. That's what his eyelashes were saying. Come pet me. Come pet me. Ah, okay, there you go. Come pet me. You're so, don't you want to pet me? So I start approaching the ostrich. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bird, right? Uh, a vegan is somebody who does not eat uh, any byproducts of animals whatsoever. So no meat, uh, no dairy, no eggs, no honey, no nothing like that. That's what a vegan is. And you know what? A vegan is a conviction. It's a conviction. It's a lifestyle. It's a major lifestyle. It is not something to be taken lightly. So no, oh, there you go. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's kind of cool too. I like that. So, yeah, but so this ostrich, so I approach him at the fence and I'm like, you're so pretty. I'm talking to him. Hi, pretty ostrich. Hey, pretty ostrich. And all of a sudden, like, at, like he was standing still and all of a sudden he was like right in my face and he almost got me right in the face with a whick, like that, like with his big old beak. And I was like, oh my gosh, he's trying to eat me. <laughs> it scared me to death. It scared me to death. They didn't tell me not to approach the ostrich, and apparently he's kind of mean. So, not only vegetables, no. Vegetables, uh, fruits, grains, all kinds of things like that. Meat substitutions like tofu and soy. Yep, absolutely. That's all vegan. Anything that's plant-based. So, if it's grown from a plant, that would be vegan. So, yeah. Vegans rule. I love that. Uh, no, not like synthetic meat. Don't do that. Yeah, no. Gross. Don't do anything synthetic. Don't put anything synthetic in your pie hole. <laughs> That's just a general rule of thumb. <laughs> what? I know, right? So they look so cute and <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know they're I know it's a real thing, but I wouldn't put anything synthetic in my mouth. So yeah, they are absolutely toxic. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, that's nuts. Ah, uh, I don't like pigs so much anyway. I, I'm not a big pig fan. <laughs> I don't even eat them, really. I don't, actually, I haven't eaten pork in ages, so um, yes. <laughs> yeah, I do not. I do not recommend anything. I do not recommend anything synthetic. Anything that is uh, man-made or lab-grown or anything like that. Absolutely, do not recommend it at all. If you're going to be a vegan, your best choices are plant-based foods, plant-based real foods. If you're going to be a human on the planet, your best choice is real foods, <laughs> just period. So just absolutely period. Yes, rice is a grain, so absolutely. I'm not I'm not a vegan. I said that earlier. I'm actually not a vegan. <laughs> well, like, do I miss real food? I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, yep, not a vegan. I am 90% plant-based and 10% meat, dairy, grains. <laughs> no, I can't convert you. You'd have to convert yourself. Yeah, I just try to stay away from pork. I eat it very, very rarely. Yeah, that's right. If you're going to be human, if you're just going to live on this planet, then you should eat whole real foods. Nothing out of boxes, cans, pouches, bottles, jars, anything like that. There are very few exceptions. If you look at my pantry, actually don't look right now because... Um, <laughs> yes, I'm very sane and very healthy, as you can tell. I'm 45 years old if that tells you anything about my diet and lifestyle. So, um, but you can look at my fridge normally and it is mostly all plant-based with very few meats and dairy or anything like that. Really, yeah. Hmm, that would be, it's probably the nitrates in the pork, Clarissa, that's doing that. <laughs> You're keeping that, yeah. Do not eat processed foods, no, no processed foods. I mean, like once in a blue moon, I'm not like totally 
you know, perfectly perfect. Nobody is. Every once in a blue moon, I'm forced to eat or I want to eat a processed food, but it is not a daily habit. So, um, okay, I am out. I know, right? They stay forever. It's a great tip. It's like one of my favorite kitchen tips. It was actually taught to me. Uh, my best friend, Jen, you're welcome. My best friend, Jen, yes, oils are fine as long as they're plant-based. Um, I don't drink alcohol, but a lot, of, but vegans do. Yes. Bye, Roz. Love you. Thanks you for being here. Yeah, it's probably the nitrates in the pork that's actually helping you with your migraines. So, um, yeah. And as I, again, Clarissa, you're doing an amazing job uh, taking control of your health. And as that journey continues, those types of things are going to start slipping away for you. And you're not going to find that you have those little quirky things that help or don't help. It's just because you're not going to need it. So you just keep on your path. You're doing great. You're doing amazingly, amazingly well. So, And I'm so jealous that you're so young and have taken this path. It's amazing. So. All right, you guys, I am I'm going to go, and I'm actually going to put this uh, in the fridge, and I'm going to serve it a little later tonight. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, she's amazing. Um, I'm going to serve it a little later tonight, and um, I'm going to serve it warm and chilled and see what everybody thinks. So um, I, the last time I had it, it was actually warm. It was not room temperature like this, but I can see where it chilled. It would be really, really great, too. Oh, by the way, if you do when you do this, if you do let it sit throughout the day, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um, if you do let it sit throughout the rest of the day, I would just stick it back on the blender and let it and let it run. So uh, just to mix it all up again before you serve it. So what is this? This is uh, vegan eggnog. So yes, it's just nog is what we have decided to name it. Just nog. So no eggs in it whatsoever. It's actually completely plant based and uh, and amazing. It tastes so good. It's lovely. Yeah, thank you, Janie. Thank you so much for all your support and love and happiness and joy that you share with me. You make me very happy every single day. <laughs> you all do, actually. All right, so tomorrow, tomorrow we are making a tomato basil soup. We are making a creamy to tomato basil soup, and there is not going to be... Yes, thank you. Um, there is... Um, I don't know what that means. Um, there is not going to be any cream in this soup, and it's going to be a creamy tomato basil soup. It is actually also a vegan recipe. You guys know that I don't cook in themes, right? I typically don't cook in themes. I just show you recipes that I find that I think are amazing that I want to share with you. Um, yay, have fun, Merry Christmas. Um, so yes, so tomorrow I'm gonna share with you guys a um, a tomato soup that is great after holidays. So after holidays, everything is settled down a little bit. Um, this is gonna be a great tomato basil soup. Clarissa, I know you're not a huge fan of tomatoes, so maybe you just take a break tomorrow. <laughs> You know, I I, res I have so much respect for people that are on a vegan path. Um, I think that it is hard. I think that it is a it is a choice to be taken seriously. Like I don't think you should just go one day. I think I'm going to be vegan. That's not how it works. Vegan veganism is a conviction. It is a conviction on so many levels. It's a conviction to your health. Hey Sue, it's a conviction to your health. It's a conviction to the planet. It's a conviction to animals. Um, it's a conviction of just being an Earthling here on this planet. Um, and I respect it so much. You guys have no idea how much I respect it. And really, truly, 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 truly. I think that it is best, I think it is best when we consume more plants than animals. Um, and as we all start, you know, if I can start a revolution, <laughs> okay, <laughs> if I can start a revolution, if I can start a revolution on eating, which I'm trying to do, I'm really working on getting a revolution going, um, yeah, that's awesome, yeah, she's amazing, I love Marcy. <laughs> you like that you like those grains I understand I eat grains I'm not opposed to grains I know a lot of people are I'm not opposed to grains but I do like them organic my grains to be organic so but um, but yeah that type of that type of um, <laughs> she's a good girl that type of commitment to life um, and to yourself and to the planet is way stronger than any diet um, that you yeah organic grains that's right that way they're non GMO Clarissa that's why I like organic grains then you get not there then you're guaranteed that they're non GMO um, therefore not genetically modified therefore not made in a lab you know 
Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> yeah, well, good. I'm, I'm glad that you do. <laughs> um, yeah, so it is, it is, um, I think it's just, I think it's, I think it's super important uh, for people to realize that vegans are not, it's not, it's not all about them. It's not all about, it's all about everything. It's all about the planet. It's all about it's all about everything. And I am not a vegan, but I have so much respect for vegans. It is just impossible for me to express how much I have of that. So you thought I was playing a guitar? Nope. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think I've ever had berry weed. I've seen it though. <laughs> no, you can't, you cannot, you cannot uh, guarantee organic when eating in a restaurant. You're absolutely right. Sherry, it's it's hard. Rest eating in restaurants. I'm going to be forced to eat in some restaurants as we travel, um, and we try to make good choices. I will tell you that I will have one fast food meal away on Christmas um, because I'm a Texan, and there are water burgers in Texas. And Robin and I both uh, miss water burger, so I I actually get the smallest little burger that they have. It's like this big. It's tiny, 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 um, and I just enjoy that. And I always have water with it and whatever. But I will have that when I'm away. So there is nothing perfect. I know right there's nothing perfect about me so okay yeah I will do that absolutely <laughs> you're so funny Clarissa <laughs> uh, and where's the burger right where's the beef what was it what commercial was that with that old lady where's the beef I think it was Wendy's I don't eat I mean routinely I do I like once, like this is like once a year, um, that I will do that. It is Wendy's. Okay. Yeah. Where's the beef? Um, do I do that too? Well, I kind of feel like I do that pretty well. So how do you trust organic food? Um, I buy local. Um, I know my source, so it's a what a burger, what a burger, what, like what a burger. <laughs> yeah. And they're Texas, mostly Texas, uh, some in, Arizona, some in Oklahoma, I think, but mostly, mostly in Texas. So yeah, it's, it's total junk food, Sherry. It's total junk food. Um, yeah. And it's just once in a blue moon and everybody will be like, Oh, does it make you feel bad? No, not really. My body is so in tune. And so, uh, I, I treat it so well that one little meal like that could never derail me ever, ever, ever. I am steadfast in my, in my diet and the way that I eat. So yeah, one little meal like that could never derail me. So, but I will tell you, Sherry, you bring up a good point when you say that you cannot trust organics in restaurants. Where to start for newbies? Oh my goodness, uh, at my website, go to kitchens.com. <laughs> That's where you start. Watch my scopes. That's where you start. Uh, where to start for newbies? Um, I would identify what is your goal. Number one, number one, before you make any changes in your kitchen, hold on, I'm gonna get back to the restaurants in just a second. You guys hang with me for just a second. Yeah, what a burger. Water burger. <laughs> yeah, it's true, it's true. Um, <laughs> Yes. So, uh, where to start for newbies? I would totally, I would totally recommend that you identify why you're wanting to make a change. That is number one priority for you as somebody new to the, uh, to the whole foods or real foods. Um, that is number one, write it down, find out why you're wanting to make a change. Is it a health issue? It is a family issue. Is it a personal issue? Is it a looks issue? Find out what that is. Once you identify where that flame and that, that little ember is coming from, you can fan it into a flame. You can make it what you want it to be. So for me, the other thing that I would suggest that you do is start with a rule of thumb. So set a guideline for yourself. So I'm gonna eat, um, my husband for example, he started with eating about, and this is not something you have to write down, this is an idea, um, but about 60% plant-based. So 60% of his diet was plant-based and 40% of his diet was meat, dairy, and grains um, and fats, other types of fats. So that was how he started. He is now up to 80-20 and he's getting really close to 90-10 where he is like me, eats 90% plant-based and um, and 10% uh, uh, all the everything else. So yes, I am mostly plant-based. I'm not a vegan. I'm not a vegan. So if you want to, if you want um, information on um, just it's a process, Clarissa. It's not an event. 
Yes, awesome. I love it. Hi, it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. I always say that smoothies are the gateway drug into health. I have some amazing smoothie recipes on my website. I have to tell you guys, I'm going to let you in. There's not very many of you here. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Um, and that is, is that I am working with, uh, with a team right now. And we are trying to develop a way that we can get a cookbook out to um, oh, did you? <laughs> Thank you. Here's the dressing. It's actually what I'm going to have for lunch today. Look at it today. It is so creamy and yummy. I'm super excited about it. Yeah. Smoothies every morning now. Yeah, yeah. Smoothies are a great way uh, to introduce your body into health. I know. So good. It smells amazing. Um, so yes, they're a great way to introduce. Um, I would recommend that you would stay away from juicing uh, right off the bat uh, because everybody wants to juice like right away they get to a juicing craze. Um, but this and the other thing that I want you to remember as a <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. Um, the other thing I want you to remember is I want you to remember that it is a process. You've probably heard me say that a couple times here today. This is a process. This is not an event. Getting into a healthy lifestyle is a process. So don't get discouraged when you fall off the bandwagon. You know, don't get discouraged when you, when you set goals and don't reach them. Just keep on moving forward one step at a time, moving forward always. So that is, but we are, we are kind of in a process of getting a cookbook. It'll be cheap. It'll be super cheap. Um, getting a cookbook together. There's Edison. Somebody was asking. There he is. Um, but getting a cookbook together that will help you guys, um, through navigate some of these waters a little bit better so I think it's uh, I think it's time so we are slowly but surely we're just now at the beginning stages of that so so yes and again it will be super cheap it's gonna be electronic it's not going to be printed or anything like that yeah so thank you oh thank you so much yeah <laughs> I know right my dog he's its name is Edison you'll hear me refer to him every once in a while and uh, he likes to bark I can't scope without him barking it's an impossibility I don't think he ever, I don't think he'll bark like the rest of the day, but anytime I get on here, he'll bark. So, um, so thank you all you guys that are new to me. Please come back and see me. Whoa, I kicked my camera. I kicked my tripod. Uh, please come back and see me. Um, I broadcast every weekday at noon. I know it's awesome, right? I broadcast every weekday, noon mountain time. Um, I do all kinds of recipes, not just vegan recipes. I do paleo recipes. I do, um, I do just healthy cooking, but all of my recipes. Thank you so much. One of the things that you can absolutely count on when you watch me is that it's always going to be whole real foods. There is no processed foods. We don't. We try not to cook anything out of a can or bag or whatever. Um, tomorrow I'm going to use some canned tomatoes, but that's a little bit different. Um, so, and there are some things that get outside of that scope that are okay. So, yeah, <laughs> I know Edison. Yeah, well, that's he was. He, yes, that's who he was named after. So. And it's always going to be funny, right? Yeah, there's always going to be some point where I laugh so hard uh, that I have to stop talking because you guys make me laugh so hard. So, um, so yes, so thank you for being here. I love it, love it, love it. Um, and you guys have an amazing Christmas week. I will be here tomorrow showing you a tomato soup that is vegan. It is a creamy tomato basil soup, and there's no cream in it. What? It's nuts. Can't wait to show you. <laughs> no, it's so good. It's one of it's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow how it rolls. So I know, so good, so so good, and it's great. I know. I you like tomato dupe? <laughs> I love it. I love some of these. Uh, I do it all the time. I'm a terrible. By the way, I'm very dyslexic, so I'm constantly messing up things when I type it out. That's why this is so great for me. Um, yes, <laughs> that's right. It's magic. You can make all the corners of your mouth go up. <laughs> you have a magic superpower. Um, okay, so you guys, please go watch the replay uh, so you can learn how to make vegan eggnog. Please follow me right here on Periscope. You can find me on all social media at go2kitchens.com, G-O, the number two, kitchens.com. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to whip out my new apron that I got for Christmas. Wait till you see this. Wait for tomorrow to see my new apron that my BFF gave me. What? It's nuts. It's is so cool. I was like freaking out last night. We opened presents at home last night for Robin and I because we're going to be too busy the next two nights to do it. We have friends and other things. Anyway, uh, it's the same. Go to kitchens. Yep. Thank you so much. Yep. There's the website. Go to kitchens.com. Thank you for putting that up there. The Miss Jacks. 
Um, yes. So yeah, it's, it's an amazing. I'm so excited. Yeah. Catch that me all social media at go to kitchens. I just got new business cards and it says on there all social media at go to kitchens. <laughs> so, so there you go. Um, all right. I am Audi. Oh, I made it till one o'clock. Not hard to do. Not hard to do. Um, I got to sneeze again. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Yes, please watch the replay. We are going to actually, there's the recipes right in the first 20 minutes of the scope. So you want one of my business cards. Did you get your package yet, Janie? Did you get your package? You should have gotten it by now. I hope you got it. Um, I did not put a business card in there though. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. So you guys have an amazing afternoon. Know that I love you and I only want you to be happy and healthy. Okay, awesome. Um, I want you to be happy and healthy, and I want you to live the life that you want to live. I want you to be that person that you want to be, and I can help you get there. I can help you fall in love with your kitchen again. I promise you, I can help you fall in love with your kitchen again. It is a sanctuary. It is a place where everything in your health begins, is right here in this kitchen, even an ugly kitchen like mine. Because my kitchen, people, my kitchen is ugly. So <laughs> even in the ugly kitchen, even in a tiny kitchen, even in a giant gourmet kitchen, I can teach you to fall in love with that kitchen. So please, please, please follow me. And thank you so much. I will be here tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel, noon mountain time, lunch with Leslie. See you guys then. Love you. Bye. <laughs> That's right. Even in a TV dinner kitchen. You're absolutely right, Jenny. <laughs> See you guys.